too. High inflation rates are forcing families to find ways to save money however they can. Prices are up, product sizes are down as inflation hit nearly 8% in February. WMRT News wants to help you balance your budget and also stay out of debt. Uh, Mark Roper joins us now with tips on how you can save, especially Mark, if you like to do your shopping online. Yeah, and who doesn't like to do that, Megan? I spoke with an analyst at Wallet Hub who recommends using several apps or browser extensions that you can put on your laptop so you can save money. And, you know, a lot of us do like to shop online. So if it's something that you're not doing already, now's a good time that you might want to try it out. High prices are putting the squeeze on household budgets. More families are feeling the need to pinch a penny or stretch a dollar, and people are searching for bargains, asking for deals, or clipping coupons to save. And now it's really painless. You know, I remember too, growing up when we had binders of coupons and kind of sorting through everything, and now you can really do it all with a click of a button. And even for promo codes, things that you might not necessarily know about. Wallet Hub analyst Jill Gonzalez recommends using free shopping apps like Capital One Shopping, Honey, or Amazon Assistant. These are browser extensions you install on a laptop, apps which essentially run in the background on your computer, hunting for bargains while you shop. Capital One Shopping lets consumers shop as they normally would and delivers the savings right to their online carts. Honey searches for promo codes to get discounts, while Amazon Assistant allows savvy shoppers to track the best prices and read product reviews. But comparison shopping isn't limited to just shopping online. Gonzalez advises to speak up when shopping in-store and ask retailers if they'll match a lower price from a competitor. Do you have a wise card or phone number? You can pull up another store even when you're in the aisle of a different one and you can actually show someone at the register and say, hey, can you price match this for me? And nine times out of 10, they will. And that goes for food, that goes for products, electronics. I think it's definitely a habit worth getting into. And stocking up is another way budget conscious shoppers can use to beat inflation. Try to be buying in bulk and places like Amazon and Costco and BJ's have definitely made that a little bit easier to do. Enter your lemon quantity. So you're going to be saving in terms of the product, in terms of shipping and in terms of inflation as it still rises. I don't think we're, we really reached the peak yet. Your total is 21.34. Now, you do want to make sure that you read the fine print before you install any of these price check apps on your laptop because not only will they monitor the products that you are looking at online, they will also take a look at your emails. They will be looking through anything that says, you know, shipping confirmations or receipts in order to perform those price checks. So you want to make sure that you understand how to look at your privacy settings before you do go ahead and install one of these apps. Megan? Yeah, Mark, and you know, a lot of people certainly do like to do their shopping on their laptop, but for those who like to go shopping on their cell phone, do these browser extensions work on your smartphone? They do have separate apps that you can download on your smartphone. They don't work exactly the same. They're not as seamless, but they do have apps that you can put on your mobile phone so you can still save some money there.